People on the streets of Madagascar's capital, Antananarivo, expressed their displeasure after the country's president unveiled a new cabinet after just over a year in office. There has been widespread public criticism of the government's performance over power outages and fuel prices following elections in December 2013. Among the new faces in cabinet is Maurice Rakotowari Manana, a former accountant who worked with the World Bank and will be Minister of Finance and Budget. I don't like the lineup of the new government since the changes always come and go, but the economic situation of population remains the same. The ministers will be led by a former Air Force commander and businessman Jean Ravelon Narivo after his predecessor resigned following discontent over electricity failures. Some people, though, feel the new ministers might make a difference. These are all technicians who have mastered their fields of expertise. They understand what needs to be done to fix problems. But political analysts warn that time is running out for the government to get things right. Madagascar remains one of the world's poorest countries, despite its wealth in minerals, among them cobalt, uranium, nickel and gold. Maria Galang, CCTV.